Hey guys, I've always enjoyed going to the top of a parking garage and uh, and operating portable. My thought on it was, was just to get up elevated and get the antenna up high and uh, and enjoy some uh, portable ops, or we'll call it urban portable, as I've, I've said, and, uh, and enjoy myself. But I made a discovery, and uh, some other people have actually mentioned it in comments of my other videos, that um, there's an amazing ground plane below me here. It's it's there's rebar there's there's rebar there's metal all inside of this thing, and you know I've always just kind of used um, thinking I would use the body of the vehicle I was parked in the garage with a mag mount would was more 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 times than none would be my thought pattern with that but I've noticed the last few times where I've dropped coax down onto the surface here amazing contacts I just made some great ones. So I thought, why don't I put up an antenna there at the top of a parking garage that's reliant on a ground plane, that truly relies on a ground plane. And I can't think of a better antenna than the Ribicoff antenna. I love that antenna. I've, been, I've, just, I've made it in some places. If you're not familiar with the Ribicoff, it's, it's basically just a 25-foot a random wire uh, with a 4 to 1 on and a ground plane underneath it. I built one of these in in Europe when I was in Poland, in the backyard I had in Poland, and I worked all man, amazing DX with it. I worked long path to Australia from Poland. I, it was just a really good antenna. Since then, I've also built it over salt water. I built it at the beach. I've had some uh, great, great experiences with it on the beach, and I've also built it up on a over, completely over salt water on a fishing pier. So I thought, how cool would it be to get out here on top of this amazing, uh, metal surface uh, that's full of rebar below it and make that the ground plane and put this thing up. So I kind of, I'm in a parking garage. I've been here a few times before, a little away from the water, not near it. So really to see, to, sh to show what, how it would perform um, purely on top of the garage and, and do it that way. So I'm going to put up the Ribicoff. I've kind of got a special way I want to do the, uh, the ground plane and, and put the, uh, I'll call it one counterpoise or one counterpoise wire down on top of the surface. I'll show you that. I'm also going to let my coax lay out on top of it too, because that seems to be, and that was the convincing factor that made me want to do this. So let's get this antenna up on and, uh, and see how it performs. Stick around. here we go the top of my kind of a midtown it's actually called the middle street garage here in uh, Portsmouth Virginia uh, here's the setup there's my uh, what I have is my DX commander 10 meter pole what I did if you can see it is I put I wrapped speaker wire around the flag pole so the wire is actually just being held down by the tire and it goes up to the ground side of my LDG 4 to 1 un un, and then that's 16 gauge speaker wire, which is 25 feet long. So that is what we will call the Ribicoff, this version of it. Uh, and then 50 foot of coax that I have here on the ground all around it. So there it is. There's the antenna. There's the setup. Set up, and uh, 10 meter pole there in the air. Now, there is a minor geomagnetic storm going on, so I'm not sure what conditions are really going to be like, but uh, we're going to see here on all this rebar underneath me how this uh, urban ground plane is going to react here as we go try to make some contacts. And here inside, uh, Zygu G90, so it'll be 20 watts. All the QSOs that I make today will be 20 watts. Uh, I'm using the Chameleon 50-foot uh, coax with the choke. The choke is at the radio end. There it is. Uh, so that, and uh, driving it with uh, LiPo 4 6-amp-hour battery. So there's the setup. Let's see how the uh, urban ground plane works for us today. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Coast to coast. The name here is Greg. Golf Romeo Echo Golf. The band is in great at the moment, but I got you 5-2. 5-2, in Silicon Valley, California, Walt. The park is Uncle Sam. 3473, Uncle Sam. 3473, Walt. 
That's right. QSL, QSL, you're about a 5-5 five, five into Virginia. Roger, 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 you're 5-5 five, five into Virginia. Okay, thank you so much for the contact, my friend, 73. Ciao, ciao. Okay, that was a fun experiment, and um, you know, they you see these people with the magic carpet? I got the magic parking garage right here. It works great. I actually did. I'm, I'm convinced now that um, I should have been using stuff uh, that would uh, use this as a ground plane a long time ago. So I'm going to play around with other antennas and do this a little bit more. I kind of encourage you to get out there and do a little bit of a urban portable as we'll call it although um i got a i had to pay to get in this one let me see i think it's a dollar dollar fifty an hour or something here so uh, it's gonna cost me i've been here a couple hours about a three dollar day i'll take it i got some good dx i am i'm just sick over a, a a contact i made and i went to stop the camera and i had never cut it on i made contact with a, a sierra zero one western sierra's uh s zero one ws in the western sierra and uh it was i had a five five uh signal great contact and uh yeah i missed it <laughs> so hey it's in the log i'm happy with it but other than that uh you know i just just jumped around the bands that's the cool thing about a ribicoff antenna it works well i actually got some really good receive on 40 but not really uh much going on as far as breaking in or, or I didn't catch any POTA, you know, the quick hitters, it was just people having, uh, it was a net and some, a little bit of a rag chew, got a Navy helicopter coming by me here. This always gets loud. Uh, that's called living in a Navy town. Um, and, and they, and it happens anyway, it worked, it worked pretty good. I'm really, really happy with it. And, um, I enjoyed it a lot. So if you, uh, if you like uh, watching me experiment and trying different things as we learn about HF radio, please like and subscribe. Until next time on Walt, K4 OGO 73, my friends.